lead a busy life and I want to know that I'm in control of it. So, I choose a contraceptive called the pill, which I can trust. I went to the family planning clinic and they gave me a simple medical examination and took my blood pressure to make sure I was suitable for the pill. If you could see inside your body, you could see where your reproductive organs are. You can see the ovaries where the eggs are made, your fallopian tubes, and the womb where the pregnancy will grow. When your ovaries produce an egg, this is called ovulation and it happens once a month. The egg moves very slowly along the fallopian tube and if it meets the man's sperm, fertilization may occur and pregnancy may start. If the egg does not meet with the sperm, then there will be no pregnancy and the lining of the womb will slowly come away during the period. This is known as menstruation. If you start taking the pill at this time, then the hormones are released into the blood and will start to make an effect on the ovaries. The ovaries will not produce a mature egg while you take the pill. So, you cannot get pregnant, but the menstrual cycle will continue. You should be aware of your first day of menstruation and then start with the first white pills in the packet. In Uganda, there are different brands with different colors. You must take one pill every day at about the same time. Many women prefer in the evening. The amount of hormones in each pill is very little, so you have to take one pill every day or you will immediately start producing eggs again when you stop taking the pills. Keep taking the pill even if you're not having sex. Most people will start their menstrual periods by this time. Hey, don't worry if your period has not started yet. Just continue with the pills because after a few months on the pill, your menstrual period will come just when you expect it. Each day, take a brown pill until the whole packet is finished. Then, start a new packet and continue with the white pills even if your period has not yet started. Follow the arrows and make a note of the day on which you started. You will then easily sense if you have missed a day. As soon as you realize that you have missed a day, take one pill and another one at your normal time. It is likely that you will count and realize you have missed a pill at a time when you would normally take it. If you have missed out on two days, you must take two pills to make up. And on the following day, take two again, one in the morning and the other in the evening at your usual time. If you have missed two days, you should also visit a family planning clinic for a backup method perhaps the condom to make sure you don't get pregnant. If you miss your pills for three days, then you must throw the packet away and use another backup method like a condom until you get your next period. When you see the signs of your next period, you can start a new packet of pills starting with the white ones. You know what I like about the pills is that by the time you have finished the white pills, your period will begin just when you are ready to start with the brown pills. It is always wise to know when your period will start. And also, period pains and the menstrual flow is less. Some people do get headaches at first. Some even feel nauseous, but these side effects don't last long. If they do persist, you should go back to the family planning clinic where they can prescribe a different kind of pill that will suit you better. The chances of getting pregnant while on the pills and taking it carefully and regularly are very low. To be really sure that I will not get pregnant, I also insist that my partner uses a condom. And then, we are also protected from sexually transmitted diseases and the AIDS virus.